We're here to do a ribbon cutting and introduce our new fields here. The town is really proud of this field. It, this is going to be a, a great addition for the community. Uh, we can now have these fields open 12 months out of the year. It's the natural grass fields we had to close down in the winter and close down in the summer to grow the Bermuda back in. Whereas here we can just keep them open and as long as it's not lightning, we can be utilizing these fields. The complete project cost was $1.4 million that uh, we used funds from Triangle United and Rainbow Soccer and then some bond money as well to, to finish off the funding. It was their idea actually to work rental credits into um, our investment. So if we came up with the funds to build the field, we would receive credits over the next 10 years back towards our rental. And there's no discounts or anything. So we're getting exactly what we would have normally paid for anyway. We just paid for it a little early. When you register with Rainbow, it says, would you donate five or ten dollars? And people wonder where that money goes to. And it, it, this is exactly what it went to. Turf products like this, it's what's called an infill system. So there's a turf that is an actual leaf blade and then it's infilled with different products. It's called Pure Fill. It's 100% organic, it's 100% sustainable, 100% recyclable. When you feel this turf, it doesn't compact like those crumb rubber fields that get really tight. And it doesn't uh, conduct heat. So in an 88 degree day in the middle of summer, you can lay on it and not burn yourself. We don't know of any other place in North Carolina that has this. Now we can extend our season, and not just our sport, but uh, all the other different sports that need this type of facility. So with these fields, we also added a stormwater retention area. Uh, these fields before, when they were natural grass, the water percolated in at a tenth of an inch an hour. We are now capturing a half an inch of stormwater on every event, and it sits in a retention area underneath the field, at which point it then slowly goes into the groundwater. It's a very positive thing for the environment. Now we're going to have this opportunity for more folks to be able to play more often and have field space that we desperately need. So this is just a win-win-win. You know, when I graduated, I didn't know what I wanted to do, but I knew where I wanted to live. I wanted to live right here in this wonderful community with leaders like the people we heard earlier uh, because we are a genuine community in the most positive way.